Uh, my name is Adam Richmond. I am your host with the Locks the Rocks, and this is the official podcast of Rocklahoma, Surviving Rocklahoma. And I we were just blown away on stage just a short bit ago by this man, Marcos of POD. What is up, buddy? What's up, guys? Man, I am so glad to have you set with me, and uh, man, you just resonate a certain energy of just the love for music and everything about it. I mean, just coming around, everybody around you, uh, you just have so much more appreciation for everybody else as we did for you, and I, I love that attitude about you. Can you tell me a little bit uh, about uh, what it is to be in POD today? Well, as a band... We've always wanted to basically inspire and encourage our fellow brother and sister. So musically, but collectively as a band, but also as an individual. And uh, that's kind of our mission, is to encourage people and be positive. It's actually a term called PMA. Uh, it's a punk rock term we got from the old bad brains, positive mental attitude. And if you can change that, you can change anything. But it starts, it's not like when you go to the gym and you start lifting weights, it's a daily progression, right? It's not that nothing happens overnight. It's the same with your mental attitude. If you can start working on it, it'll change your life and change the people around you. I absolutely agree. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about keeping that mindset in your music today? Well, keeping the mindset in our music, it's kind of uh, something that we decided on early on consciously as a band. And we love to do that because we know what it means to our fan base. We know what it means to us. And if it's important to us, then it's going to it's gonna reflect in our music. And it's going to end up, you know, we're planting seeds with certain people and then actually watering other seeds. And then you get growth. And that's a beautiful thing, man. I, I agree. I agree. Um, so this is one of the first times that I, I believe I've ever seen P.O.D. on the bill here at Rock, oh, wow. Uh Can you tell me a little bit about performing today? You know what? <clears throat> I thought it was going to be a little more, I guess, vicious with regards to the heat. It actually ended up being really nice. And, uh, you know, the crowd's reaction always helps. And it was a it was a good moment. It was a good moment in time. It was good to be back in Oklahoma. We have a lot of roots here, a lot of friends here. One of our first managers was here in Bartisville. Yeah, early on in our career, um, when we got our first record deal with Atlantic Records, we used to play a, a spot out in Bartisville called The Warehouse. And uh, we have we just have a lot of friends throughout the years and we, we love coming to Oklahoma, man. Whether it's OKC, Oklahoma City, or Tulsa, we got love for you. We appreciate that, man. So tell me a little bit about your current projects as a band. What do what, what you guys got going on for you right well, now? Well, we got a new record coming out. Uh, it's dropping in the spring of 2024. We uh, started our set today with a, with a song off the new record. It's actually the first song on the record. It, uh, it features Randy Blythe from Lamb of God. And the song is called Drop. It's the first song on the album called Veritas which comes out in 2024. So we're excited. We just shot the video for it. So we can't wait for everybody to hear it. We're actually gonna be dropping that song in September. Well, actually this month. And uh, we can't wait. Can you tell me a little bit? Uh, you've been, you guys have been around for, I dare say decades. Uh, yeah, not to good. date any of us. Um, you you've now, you can call this part of your life's work. Yeah. Can you tell me uh, a little bit about uh, keeping content like what what for your music how do you look at your cds are they chapters of a novel are they a story an evolution um tell me a little bit about y'all's growth the way i personally view it because i'm one of the predominant writers for the band it's like a it's a moment in time so i, I i've heard this said by a lot of actual painters like they paint you know uh you know they paint paintings and different styles and different things murals it's how they were feeling at that moment. Mm -hmm. So whether it's us writing a certain type of song or a certain style of record, that's what was called from us at that time. That doesn't mean that's going to be the same thing next, next year or two years from now. That's a whole other time. Yeah. So it's basically a reflection of where we're at as artists. And it's a moment caught in time that people get to, to listen to the music on for the rest of their lives. Me too. Once we retire, that record's out there forever. 
Right. So it's pretty cool. Can you tell me, uh, now you were talking, you know, about capturing this moment of time. Well, we're coming out of a very dark time where people were faced with unprecedented isolation. And there was once the, there was the paranoia, there was the, you know, the fear factor. But I think one thing that is not really addressed a whole lot for a lot of folks is being under locked up and cooped up and not being able to be themselves. How did that come out to you in your writing? Well, I'm, 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 I, I would speak for myself and I think a bunch of other people. It was a trying time, but it, it challenged me as an individual to challenge myself given the circumstances to progress. So for me, that was DJing. I started DJing online and doing mixes. And I learned, I taught myself then, and now I'm DJing when I'm not playing in POD. So it's something that just kind of happened because I was in confinement. I was like, what can I do? Hey, well, I got the internet. I can still DJ in front of my fan base. And it just ended up being really cool. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about finding DJ? How does that work for you, DJing online? Well, here's the thing. It, people think, oh, because you play in this type of band or this style of music is what, sure. what you're known for, that that's all you do, which, which anyone should know that's not the case. There's so many different shades and different colors, and, you know, there's different vibrations that I like to tap into that inspire me. So electronic music's always been a really huge thing part mm -hmm. to me like a lot of the pod remixes from crystal method doing boom wow. paul oakenfold all these that was because i'm huge into that stuff so when the time came i was like you know what why why am i not doing that stuff so now i'm writing my own electronic music i'm also djing and i'm having a lot of fun with it man and it's just another outlet for me to express myself and get creative Will we see some of those, that newfound flair and that newfound style that you have, will that start in, uh, infusing into what you bring to I think maybe a band? little more later, but yeah. right now you'll hear bits and pieces, but I wouldn't say th this record, we made a conscious decision coming out of the pandemic to make a really core POD hard rock record. What does that mean to you, hard rock album? Well, for us, heavy groove, hard hitting, and soul touching true so um in these days the mental health has become a forefront for uh, just in the recent history i mean it's everywhere now but this is something you guys have been speaking to for years uh can you tell me a little bit about uh, our our society these days finding that awareness and the value of the mental health and finding that medicine well i think it's it's different nowadays when i was a kid growing up there wasn't really that term yeah there wasn't a term of being, having mental health issues or being depressed. You kind of just dealt with it as a kid. And for me, my outlet was always going to my room and playing guitar. Now, that was healthy for me. Like if someone really has a serious issue, I think you, do, you shouldn't hesitate. You should go get some help. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of different ways to get that help. And I think the, the last thing you want to do is to get in your head and be like, that's not manly. It's not cool. People are going to think I'm weird. No, there's certain people out there that are certified and able to help you out, whether it's cognitive therapy, whether it's a counselor, I would highly recommend. I've actually had to go through some of that myself, but that's part of your growth. They help you analyze the cards and lay them out on the table. They don't tell you what's right or wrong. They just help you grow. So I would encourage that and say, Hey, at some point or another, we all have dealt with mental health and we do daily. It's just a matter of how you address that if you want to grow and become stronger. You know, uh, for those folks who try to be the light and the darkness and the, uh, the positive in a world of negativity, that also consumes a lot of energy at personal expense. Can you tell me a little bit of what, about what keeps you filled, uh, fueled as you continue your work well just because you're positive or trying to be positive doesn't mean that you're not going to struggle mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you're not going through negative things it's the way you deal with it it's the way you react that is the big difference is when you learn how to deal with that when you learn how to when you learn how to understand what you're going through and not be in denial once you're in denial that's when everything goes to shit. yeah you know and a lot of things not just that 
Yes. I appreciate you uh, t- getting deep with me and going <laughs> phil- philosophical. We can go all day, bro. Let's go. Amen. I appreciate that. Um, and, man, that, that performance was just absolutely amazing. I've been following P.O.D. ever since I discovered music uh, well, we all those fun, years man. ago. We, we, we love to come back, and I'm pretty sure once this record drops, we'll be back through. I appreciate it. Uh, do you have any videos or anything big that you're just really psyched in jazz that you can talk about? Well, I mean, we got we got a new song with Randy Blythe coming out. That's yeah. going to be uh, coming out September 21st on all streaming platforms. The song is called Drop, and uh, the album is called Veritas, which comes out in 2024. That's what I've been putting a lot of my energy on right now. As a band, that's what we're working hard for, and that's why we're here, dude. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Um, appreciate you, man. I like to round out every interview by giving uh, my guests an opportunity to directly address their audience, their their fans, the folks that just saw you outside. Um, Marcus, thank you so much for your time. If you would, uh, the stage is yours. Hey, well, uh, to all friends, family, anybody watching this, listening to this, just know that uh, P.O.D. truly loves you. When we're on stage, we get our hearts and we put them on the stage and we let you feel that stuff. Those are the vibrations that we want to bring because you know what? That's why we do this. Never give up. Keep your head up. And you know what? Stay blessed. Peace. That was Marcus of P.O.D. And I am Adam, your host with the Locks That Rocks. This is the official podcast of Rocklahoma. As always, stay on the positive side of life. And until we see each other's next, rock on.